First day of vacation. About that life. Got about one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Probably about 12, 13 there. Nice slabs. Nice slabs. Just getting started. I got all week and next week. How's it going today? Good. I want to get a, a half a pound of the small minnows if you got them. You doing all right? I got a YouTube channel. So I'm gonna post your video and tag your location so you can yeah, share it for you. That's all last time too. I yeah, it. I appreciate. Oh, you did? Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Out here, dogs running around everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of people that follow me. They be like, man, you know, you live in a certain part of Dallas where there's no bait shop. You be like, man, where can I get minnows? So I, you know, try to give them. Like, it's a great shop, shop if you don't mind traveling, you know, a little bit. But in Louisville. Weather, the weather is trying to break a little bit, huh? I think I, I don't think it's gone yet. It's, only, it's, not, it's not, not even September yet, but we we'll get a few more weeks. <laughs> yeah, you know Dallas, right? Or it's not Dallas, Texas. Period. Usually about usually about Texas OU weekend. That's uh huh. First. Yeah, and that's in October, ain't it? Yep, uh-huh. First yeah. second week of October. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I appreciate right, it. You have a good one. All right, man. Okay. Good luck, man. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. I'm good to go. You uh, you have uh, $10, and you get, uh, I don't even know how, it's probably 100 minnows in there. That's probably 100 minnows, you guys, for $10. Now you go, you go to, uh, you go to, I'm going to put that right here. That's my water. So this bait shop is in Louisville. And, uh, so this bait shop is actually in Louisville. Uh, live baits. You can just Google live baits, uh, Louisville, Texas, and it'll bring you right to it. Uh, you can get half a half a pound for ten dollars and a pound for fifteen dollars and trust me a pound I'm bagging up because they also sell uh, wood chop wood so if you guys need wood there you go behind me they sell wood as well you can get a pound and trust me if you can get a pound of minerals you bet you better have about six people with you because it's going to be a lot. Now, what I got is half a pound, and that can fish with three people all day long. So, I'm going to have a lot of minnows left over. I'm going to try to keep some alive for tomorrow. I'm on vacation today. I'm going to try to keep some alive for tomorrow, if possible. And uh, we'll fish tomorrow, or we'll fish Sunday. We'll see what happens. So, you guys, when we come back, we'll be on the water, and we'll be ready to fish. All right, people, I'm on the water. And, man, is it ugly and muddy. Took me a moment to get out of here, but you can see it's all the chocolate water. So I'm glad I got minnows because that's gonna be what's gonna catch fish today for sure. It won't be no jigs. Oh, with this. If I'm gonna even catch some. So I went to that Louisville Bay shop and I got plenty of them. So let's go ahead and get these in before they start dying on me. Put some uh, oxygen on them, revive them. Got plenty of them. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got the oxygen in there. You can see plenty minnows, plenty of them. All right. I'm gonna actually put this out like this like that yep and we better get going there we go two bullets 
crappie hook. This is a uh, this is the this is the uh, micro light micro light glass Bass Pro Shop rod. It's a uh, seven foot six action ultra lights and it's i mean four to eight pound test line you see it's limber this is about six pound test line durango reel just a real real simple setup that's all it is nothing fancy at all and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head over to the brush pile with this dirty water the live minnows we're about to get it going we're about to get it going right now and no use to wait Put it like that right there. There we go. Let's ease over there. Probably gonna get down about maybe six feet. That water got. Dang, oh my good. Yep. I got a bite right here. There we go. Fresh crappie. Fresh crappie, you got out, out on the outside. I don't not by the brush. It's not a keeper though. That's not a keep, I don't think, but I'm gonna measure and see. Cause it might be hard times today. But I know we're gonna do that. They always do that. Nope, nine inches. Get to go back. All right, so let's get back in here. I'm about to put this one in and then retie the other one. So they might be away from that brush. Well, I stayed by that brush pile about 15 minutes. Got that one, and that's it. So I'm gonna go and get up on this bridge, you guys, see if we can catch us on. Right, so we're up under the bridge and we out that sun. Man. That's about right. Let's see if anything is right here on this first pole. Then we'll work our way around. Work our way around. There we go. First one. Keeper too. Keeper. Right where it's supposed to be. He kind of act a fool too. Keeper. Right up on the bridge. Right up on the bridge column. There we go. First keeper. I ain't gotta measure. I know it's 10 inches. I ain't gotta measure. I know it's 10. Let's see if I can. Got one nice one. Let's keep this party going. Get a middle right back on there. Right back on there. That might be the spot right here. The first, the first pole I come up to. Bam. There we go. Damn. So they're not deep at all. They're like about 
a couple feet deep. I like right there. About a couple feet deep. Yeah, they ain't deep. Let me go there. Two fish I don't miss that quick. Oh, you got one right here, you guys. It's a bass. I knew that had to be a bass. That, that thing, I'm going to put my pole in the water. I think I might have one on here. Little bitty bass. I'm gonna get another one right here. I'm gonna get one on this one. I started bouncing. Before my mental dying. They might come back alive though. Let me get back over there. I don't want to be that. I'm going to my. I'm just a couple feet in the water, you guys. That's where they at. They're not. They're not deep. They're not deep. I should get one over here. I should get a crappie over here somewhere. Something scared that joker to death, and he got off. And he got off. Oh, I put it off. One to two. Something hit that soon as it drop in. There we go. Monster crappie, you guys. Oh, man. Jeez. 1.5, baby. Guarantee, 1.5. If not, it's right at it. Or over it. Man. Got to miss a couple of them. Slap. Let's weigh this joke. I say 1.5. Could be wrong though. Zeros. 1.1 actually. I gotta get back used to crappie size. Man. I thought it was bigger than that. One pound crappie, nice. A one pound crappie is nice. Jeez. Hold on. 
that's a big crappie. There you go, guy. I guarantee that's about 11 and a half, 12 inch crappie. I guarantee. Crappie number two. Crappie number two. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. I'm on, I'm on vacation until next Thursday. So I'm going to be fishing and fishing and fishing. Jeez. It felt good to catch that on that, uh, it felt good to catch that on that, uh, micro glad thing, limber. Limber. And see, with this, you don't, you ain't got a strong arm. That bend to keep it, keep them on there, keep it tight. Let's get back over there. That's my pole over there. Where's my fish net at? Okay, there we go. I got quite, I got quite a few of them in that dead. I'm surprised this other pole uh, ain't went down. I went flying in the water. Go, got another one. Got another one. Another key. Another key. Right at 10. Damn. 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 I'm measuring to see. This, one, this one's going to be borderline. I mean borderline. But I believe it's a keep though. Nope. It's almost there, you guys. It's not a keep. Got one right here, you guys. Damn. That man got off. That one got off. Go, you guy. Got another one. Got another one. I'm getting one over here too. I, I believe. I believe I was getting one over here. They're not deep. They are not deep at all.
You see how I'm kind of pushing off? I don't want to cut that trolling motor on. I actually had a bite just then. He got the mineral. That joke got that mineral. Golly, that was quick. Got that mineral. That's smooth. Get back over there and see if we can get that one again. That might be a big one. That might have been a big one. Let's see. They're not hitting this other pole. I saw when he slacked the line, you got. I saw when he slacked the line. There you go. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right, YouTube, I'm doing pretty good. Um, got some action up under this bridge. Very, very surprised after a storm like that. The water is just crazy dirty. Look how orange that water is. I red or orange, whatever you want to call it. But I'm getting action right up on those bridge pillars. I mean, right up on them. And uh, decent size. So we're going to see we're going to continue to stay at it. That sun's still kind of hot, even though the, even though the temperature is not hot. The sun's still, them sun rays are still beaming down, you know. So we're gonna go back to the other side. This side I'm at now is about seven feet deep. It's deeper. That side over there is about five feet deep. So that side produces some some days. Some days this side produces. Just you just gotta try to find them, but. I don't mind. I'm enjoying myself. So you guys, let's get back to fishing and see if we can catch up some more. Mmm, got that joke. Got him. Got him, coach. Got him, coach. Another keep. Another keep. Right at 10. Right at 10. Another key. Okay, there we go. All right, let's get back over there. So they own the bridge pillar for sure. They're not. They're not off the bridge pillars. They're on them. You might get a bite here and there on the out off of it, but most bites I'm getting is right on that pillar. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna just go on, on to the next pole. Keep working our way down. See if we can find some more. Then once we work our way down over here, we'll head back over there. Start all over again, start the process over. Okay, 
gonna let it come back. I'm gonna let it come back to me here. See if anything will pick it pick it up while it goes past this uh bridge pillar. There we go. I knew uh, a catfish? Huh. What's that uh the mud cat baby? Yeah, I like one of them little mud cats. That's that's crazy. Okay, I guess they gotta eat too. Guess they gotta eat too. Hmm. There we go. Little mud cat. I know you catfish me would love to eat that. Hmm. Had a hit. Had a hit. And there was a crappie. Had a hit. Here we go. That's a bass right there. Or oh, it might be a crappie. Oh my G. Bass. Bass, I knew it was. Old bass out here. I didn't have my uh, drag set good enough. Some little bass out here hanging around. Little bitter ones. It gotta eat too. I got a fish right here, I think. I believe. Oh. That joke got that middle out. Golly, I saw that line slack. I saw that. You see, I, st I still got a lot of minnows. Look here. <laughs> man. I probably that man probably gave me 150 minnows for ten dollars. 15 mil, 15 mil is a dollar, and you'll normally get uh, probably 24. They might, you might have 30, 30 enough for two dozen, and you're gonna pay ten dollars at a gas station. I saw that line select on this one when I wasn't paying attention. Saw the line select, you guys. I wasn't paying attention. I like when that pole just start bending like that right there. And like that right, oh, he got off. Oh, he got off. God, dog. Man, I'm tripping. <clears throat> Dang, I missed him. I'm about to start talking crap. I'm about to start talking crap to my double and everything. Missed that joke. That pole is producing today. That one pole. It's producing all the fish today, the majority of them. That one pole is producing the majority of the fish, you got. It's okay with me. I ain't gotta do too much moving around. Okay. Right, so just I'm just gonna let this kind of float back by like we're doing, like it did a while ago. See if anything will take.
They were hitting on the back side, now they're hitting on the front. But it, it but they're they're real slow though. They're real slow today. Now in a way, they probably was, I got here like at almost eleven o'clock, so they probably they probably going hard this morning. I hear. I bet they was I bet it was some good fishing going on. We came out here this morning by eight by seven o'clock. If I would have caught a whole bunch, if I would have limited out, probably. Okay, hold on. Let me see something. I want to see how deep it is. So it's not that deep. Of course. I didn't think it were. So you see that? It's only about like four or five feet deep right here. And. So that's why over here, it's four or five deep and you can catch them like you can catch them like two feet in the water with a minnow. A foot. I might be on the bottom over here. This boat might be on the bottom. No, I don't think it's on the bottom. I think something was scaring it. That's what I think. Boy, I'm enjoying myself today. Go. Big one. Big one. Big slab. Right on the pole, you guys. They want it right on that pole. Not off of it. You know, you get a bite every once in a while, but if it's touching that pole or right right like an inch from it, you can feel that little tug. Slab. Slab city. Slab city. City. Another pounder. Right on the pole. I'm going to wear this pole out today. I got my ten dollar worth of minnows. I go back over to the deeper side in a minute. There we go. Got another. Got a good one. Oh, they right here in this spot. I'm telling you guys, they are right here in this spot. And they all are right, right, right. Ten inch, ten inch, ten and a half of them in crappie. They are right here. I got a bite on this other pole. Didn't take it though. Man, that's crazy. That is crazy. I'm gonna let you guys know, okay? So when you guys see me catch, they look small. Yeah, they look small in this. Uh, so I got one. Yeah, they look small, you know, uh, uh, on this video. But I'll show you guys here. Yeah. I measure this one. I 
I knew we were going to do that. All right. I ain't got time to play game with you. I don't have time to play game with you. At all. There you go. So, you see, 10. And you see that's way past 10. 10 and a half. That's 11 inches right here. So they look small, but they're right there. They're right there at 10. But they do look small sometimes on the video. I'm not gonna lie to you. Crop, crappy, way out right there, crappy. Another keeper for the house. Another 10 incher. There you go. Burn these jokers out. Burn these jokers out. All right, let me get back out. Let me get this uh, pole back in the water. About four feet in the water. That's, what, that's what's doing it. That's what's catching them today, about four feet. I still got a lot of them in them. Look at there. I can't, I mean, I'm not going to be able to use all these up. I need somebody out here to fish with me to use these up, man. Oh, man. Okay. Pick it. Let's get back over here. What? It, ooh, so I got one. Yep, I got one. Crop. While I'm trolling. Man, nice keeper too. Keeper. Out in the open out here. Keep you guys. Man, man, man. Warning these jokers out. Or I might leave me out today. All right, guys, so now I'm actually catching them out from the pillars. A little bit off the pillars, out in the open, so I'm gonna get one right here. So I'm catching them out in the pillars and I'm just having fun. I don't know, might get a limit today, who knows? We'll see what happens. I got plenty of minnows left, plenty. And I think I might be getting a bite. Yep, got one. A bass. Yeah. You little bass hanging out out here? A baby bass, too. Baby, baby bass. Pretty kind of yellow looking. Guess they gotta eat, too. Yeah, probably got about, I think it's about six, six or seven minutes in there, still alive. Maybe he gave me 200 minutes. Maybe 100 minutes still in there, still alive. I'm going to show you guys. Alright guys, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to get off the waters. It's like 2 o'clock. I got here right at 11. 
I think it was uh, 530, I mean, uh, 1030, 1045, somewhere around there. But uh, I'm kind of tired. Uh, caught a lot of fish. Not massive, massive ones, but they catch a lot. And then, look here, you guys. I'm trying to use most of my minnows up. I can't use them. A lot of them, yeah, actually, a few of them is floating here. But I'll just show you guys here. Look how many minnows I have alive, still alive. Look at that. I get another scoop. I go the other way. Look at that. It's still probably about 60, 70 minnows in there. So you get that many minnows for ten dollars, and you go to a small racetrack or something, wherever they sell bait, right? A dozen, one dozen minnows costs like four dollars. Two dozen, right at ten dollars. But you can, and that's twenty-four minnows. But you can get over a hundred. I know I got over a hundred minnows from that guy for ten dollars. Basically, like ten to fifteen minnows per dollar, compared to four dollars for 12 minnows, so that place is in, in Louisville, live bait shop, live bait, Louisville, Texas, Google it, that's where you can get all your minnows from, fish all day long and have some for the next day, so you guys have a great Friday, I'm about to get off the waters, and I'm probably going to be off tomorrow, I ain't going to fish too much tomorrow, uh, but I'm going to fish Sunday, so hopefully we'll have some more uh, properties coming, or bluegill, that's the only thing I've been hitting, so have a great day, peace.